So in the last part, we are able to design the landing screen. Right now, let's go over to the animation screen or the art screen or the font screen as well. That's the second screen over here. So what we need to do now is to grab this file, uh, sorry, these lines of code. We need to create a new file called logo.js and put the top uh, itself on the logo. So let's call this file. Come over here and create a file called logo.js. So this logo.js, I'm going to move it into source code components. I'm going to grab that. Or let me just cut that. I can paste it there. So it's inside there, then I can cut this line of code. I can paste that. So before I paste that, remember we can do this in order to bring a, a class called sorry, a functional component. Then we can paste that inside there and it's going to export it as logo. The next thing is also to grab this one. This one we are going to call it off or button or authentication button, however you want to call it. So this one is going to be side the same directory. This will create a file called alt btn. Then we can still do exactly what we did. And inside there, you can paste it. So that we can have more space here because everything we are going to be doing is going to be on the app.js. Then we can definitely bring them in. And also alt btn. We can now import the, the two components. source components slash logo and as well i can grab this just change this to auth btn and also change this to auth btn so even if you save we still have to uh, return the same thing but uh, over here you can see uh, most of the variables and everything that we did is not in this uh, component so i'm going to uh, do this quickly then we can continue so I just have those things imported. So I'm going to clear a lot of things that we are not making use of here again. So I just have to, I just have to clear uh, these variables. And also format that code. So you can see right now we have space here. Now we can comment this out and now we can uh, work on the second part of this. So the second part of this is going to start off with animated.view. Then it's going to accept some couple of style. It's going to have a background color of white. And it's going to uh, be taking an absolute view because we want it to make full width, uh, sorry, to cover the full screen. So we are going to make use of absolute view. Then inside that, we also have to bring in another animated dot view. Now this animated dot view is going to take up a variable called logo overview height because it's going to uh, come from the bottom. Okay, sorry, it's going to come from the top to the bottom. Then from the it's going to come from the top to the top itself. Then from the top to the bottom because whenever we are animating, yeah, it's going to be only the logo. So if you watch the first video, you can see how the logo itself gradually went down to the bottom. So over here, we are going to define the style. The style is going to have a height of uh, called logo over lay height. So we are going to define that shortly. So it's going to have an absolute value for the position. And also we need, to, we need it to be at the top left uh, we don't need it to be at the bottom, but we need it to be at the right. And also we need to align every items inside of it to the center. And lastly, we need to justify the content to the center. So guys, I really know that I'm typing so fast, but I'm trying to explain this as, as much as I can so that you can really have a better understanding of how to build all these kind of things. So inside there is going to contain the logo. So let me save this because I really want this out of the screen. And right now we are in lack of this logo overlay height. So come into your variables and export one more thing called or one more constant called logo overlay height. 
is going to accept a percentage that's going to take the screen height and we just need the 40 percent of that so right now we need to import the logo valley height at the top from our variable so just type logo valley height and you can see we can make use of that right now so i'm going to bring, make this to be properly written so that we don't have a crash again so right now there is nothing inside there because we are not making use of anything so we don't make made use of other svg so right now we need to make use of uh, the logo svg itself so i'm just going to import this called logo svg so we need to import logo svg let's just call it uh, logo svg from we go over to the source assets and the file name is called logo.svg so you can see the preview also over there then inside of this we need to bring it down and let's just see to see what we have uh it's kind of clashing okay this is just a component let's just name it properly and you can see the logo svg there so you can see it's, it's just something that is very big and bold so right now we need to apply some styles to reduce the size so guys forgive me for this bed chimps best flying across so it's going to have a text uh before that before we put this text uh, this text is coming from gdcon we need to give it a width of uh, from the width we i think we define logo svg width okay we didn't define that but right now we're going to define it but we need to give it a height of 150. so let's define a logo svg width so logo SVG width is just going to be at the top here. Uh, let's just logo SVG width. We are going to, or let me just define this at the variables. Spot cons logo SVG width, which is going to take up the percentage. Uh, we're making use of the screen width. We need only 15% of the screen width. Also, let me together add one more thing called logo, sorry, form SVG height, which is going to set the percentage. Together, it's going to take the screen height. We also need 55% uh, of the screen height. So that's it for all our variables. And for the logo SVG width, we can now import that from our constants. So guys, sorry for the bed chimps, it's so noisy. There's flying across. So we've added the logo SVG width. So we don't have anything to do with logo for now. And we also have added the height. So right now let's uh, kind of style some things. We need to first add the text, which is going to be the name of the coin itself called GD coin. So, but first let's style it. So guys, even if I talk too much in this video, I'm trying to be more explanatory so they can really have a better understanding so let's just add the gearoy extra bold then we can add a font size of 30 and lastly oh sorry guys for that we can add a font weight of 400 Then inside of there, we can add GD coin. So this is supposed to be a small caps. So you can see our app is taking a shape and also the logo there looks neat. So beneath the, the text and also the logo, we need to add the form itself. Now this way, uh, there's, there will be, there was going to be a couple of works. So in the next part, let's just uh, finish this form section part of it.